Hey, welcome back to another TBH video journal. Uh, hunting season's over, and we spent our last weekend down at CDLC for deer season. And uh, so we're gonna change things up just a little bit. And today's uh, edition is more of a travel journal. I'm actually traveling for work. Came down to Southwest Colorado. I'm working uh, near Durango and Ignacio, Colorado area, and down San Juan Basin, delivering some bits for customer but I will have some extra free time uh, when I'm not working. So um, I'm gonna spend some time driving around Colorado, trying to find some activities to do while I'm here. Today I actually drove over to Silverton, Colorado to have lunch at the Brown Bear Cafe. The Morrises and the Tompkinses and our family came and hung out here in the summertime, rode our ATVs up over here and had lunch and spent a, a day or so uh, kind of visiting around here, but I've never been here in the winter time. So I wanted to, Kind of drive over here see the the scenery and just a beautiful little town today of course things are a little bit quiet uh, may try to do a snowmobile tour i thought about trying to go fly fishing but um not sure i'll be able to be able to pull that off on this trip as the luck would have it there's a middleton motorsports right here so maybe i can get the family discount it'd be kind of cool to be able to do a tour right here at animos forks so let's see what they have to offer here well, there doesn't seem to be anybody here at the moment, so uh, I got a phone number. I'll give them a call. I made this same trip last September uh, for the same reason. We had a bit hand that kind of went AWOL on us and, uh, and didn't deliver a bit, so I had to fly out here kind of on short notice. But on that trip, I think I flew in on a Wednesday, and I was supposed to fly back out the next day, uh, delivered the bit on Thursday. My flight was delayed out of Houston, and so I spent the night in Dallas and then flew in on Thursday morning. I was supposed to fly right back out on Thursday afternoon, yeah, I think at three o'clock, but decided to make a run down to Lake Navajo, down just across the border in New Mexico, and then I got back and I missed my flight. So I ended up flying out early Friday morning. I had an obligation that I was supposed to be at Friday afternoon. Luckily, I made it just in time. So this time I want to give myself just a little more time and spend some time enjoying Southwest Colorado. I'm standing right outside of the hotel balcony in, uh, might be able to see right there is uh, there's some black tanks for the rig that's getting ready to move in. They're moving it in today and tomorrow. And so the rig that I'm taking the bits to are actually probably a little over 100 yards from the hotel. I got to drive to Durango and pick those up from the FedEx location tomorrow and then bring them right back over here to, to take them out to the, to the rig. I'll be able to sit and watch that rig go up right off the balcony of my fourth floor hotel room right here. May uh, set up a time lapse on that or something from over here. All right, I'm taking one of the company men out to dinner tonight in Durango. He's staying at the hotel right there in town. So I'm gonna go have dinner and some drinks with him. It's almost as close to walk to the rig from my car as it is back to the, to the hotel. All right, you can see right there up on the horizon, they're getting ready to go up with that rig sometime tonight, hopefully. I had a good dinner with one of the company men on that rig tonight. And uh, he's a big hunter, uh, bow hunter, his family, his kids. They all bow hunt. He lives in, down in New Mexico, but they're going to be in Texas in the spring. I think they've got a hog hunt plan, and then they're going to be there for a, a archery challenge there in San Antonio. So we talked a lot of bow hunting, and I really enjoyed visiting with him. And uh, we're going to get together again tomorrow uh, downstairs here at the Sky Ute Hotel for dinner. And he'll be back over at the rig, so I'll get a chance to visit with him a little bit more tomorrow. They're busy tonight erecting that rig. I went ahead and set my Sony up here on the balcony. And I'm gonna run a time lapse and see if I can get some decent footage, throw together a time lapse of that rig going up tonight. I uh, ran over to the rig this morning and uh, they had a lot of activities you might imagine going on. I'm trying to still get things set up so I didn't hang out very long. So, but I'm gonna go right now to, to Purgatory Mountain and uh, spend a couple hours riding a snowmobile. And I got dinner plans back here tonight uh, with the uh, well site leader. Every time I buy this picture in the hotel, I wanna look for the blood trail on the leaves. Really, everything that we do today depends on you guys how well we drive on the trails and on the road. So the first thing we're gonna do is take this road and drive straight through that ski area.
We're here at about uh, close to 12,000 feet. That's Engineer Engineer Path right up there. We spent some time there in the summer. Great time, great ride. Good tour guide. Nice peak over there. Great time with Snowmobile Adventures right here at the uh, base of Purgatory Mountain Resort. Uh, our guide is fantastic. We ran some pretty cool trails. Got to go out on the meadow and just kind of go out on our own. So it's just a really good time. Uh, not, not a bad way to spend a couple hours while I'm here at work. Met a lot of great folks who were riding with us. Uh, the majority of them were from Texas. A lot of Texans here in Colorado. Feels like home. <laughs> Well, the first step complete, bits made it. I'll go to the rig and drop them off to Justin. I delivered the bits this afternoon and then I needed to come back over here to the hotel room to print out the service ticket. I think I'm just gonna fold it up as a paper airplane and send it right over there to deliver the service ticket. Close. I'm headed down now to meet one of the well site leaders for dinner. Uh, we're gonna eat at the, low, the uh, restaurant here in the hotel. May spend some time at the casino playing some games. Uh, chips they wouldn't let me have my backpack over at the blackjack table, so I had to take it over to security and let them hang on to it. They got a bowling alley here. I'm going to see if I can bowl a few frames.
Kettle Downer suggested Ken and Sue's. Here I am at Ken and Sue's. All right, based on recommendation of the locals, I had lunch over at Ken and Sue's. Based on the recommendation of the waitress, at the Southwestern Cobb Salad. Pretty dang good. All right, thank y'all for following along on the little trip here. Although it was technically a work trip, it was to one of the prime vacation spots in the United States. So I wanted to uh, take advantage of that and see if I could squeeze in as many activities as I could while I was here and not just hang out in the hotel room. So had a lot of uh, a lot of downtime, so I was glad I could take advantage of that. Appreciate you joining me. Click that subscribe button down below, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. All right, so this may not be the end of our trip. Uh, flight is delayed out of Durango to Denver by about an hour and 15 minutes so far, but that's going to put me behind schedule for my connecting flight out of Denver to San Antonio. I'm not sure what we're going to do about that, but we should find out here in about 15 minutes whether we're going to make it out or whether we're going to be delayed for the evening. Okay, I won't bore you with all the details, but here's the gist of it. My flight out of Durango was delayed. I didn't make it to Denver in time to catch my connecting flight, which is the last flight out to San Antonio. Bottom line is I might end up having to spend the night at the airport, fly out tomorrow at 10.30, uh, arrive at 1.30 p.m. in San Antonio. And I was supposed to have a meeting in Houston tomorrow that I was going to go to. Obviously, that's not going to happen. Um, and now I've got the complicated factor of my wife still having to work tomorrow so she's gonna have to figure out some way to take off work or find a different way home from san antonio for the hour and a half drive back to hallettsville anyway it's been a uh, rather frustrating evening as you might imagine but we will adapt and overcome i'm not really a big fan of leaving the airport on a layover and so i decided i'm just going to stay here tonight i found a pretty quiet place to kind of hunker down and uh, hopefully this will be a nice quiet little corner to hang out in tonight, at least until early in the morning, maybe get a little bit of rest. Hey, it's part of the adventure, I guess.